A clean scan tip, with the mirror facing down, should be placed on the scanner for mandibular scanning. A finger or a dental mirror can be used to create space between the residual ridge, lips and cheeks or tongue. The recommended scanning path consists of four swipes. The left lingual aspect of the residual ridge, the left buccal aspect of the ridge, the right lingual aspect of the ridge, and the right buccal aspect of the residual ridge. The best scanning method is to start from the lingual side of the retromolar area, scanning along the middle line. The tip for that should be slightly rotated in order to face the lingual side or slope of the ridge. The scanner should be moved slowly without jumping around. Once that is completed, the scanner should be rotated across the center of the ridge, and then scanning proceeds from the middle line along the buccal aspect of the residual ridge towards the retromolar area. When the second swipe is completed, the scanner should be stopped. Now, saliva can be removed and the patient can relax their muscles. When done, the scanner can be moved to the middle. It should be slightly rotated in order to face the lingual side or slope of the ridge. The scanning starts at the middle line and is performed along the lingual side of the ridge towards the retromolar area. The scanner should be moved smoothly without jumping around. When the retromolar area is reached, the scanner should be slowly turned buccal and then scanning proceeds from the buccal side of the retromolar area along the buccal aspect of the residual ridge towards the middle line, capturing any missing data. When scanning is complete, you can inspect the result and prepare the scan by trimming any unnecessary parts. If an important area is missing, simply start scanning the area again. A clean scan tip with the mirror facing up should be placed on the scanner for maxilla scanning. A finger or a dental mirror can be used to create space between the residual ridge, lips and cheeks. The recommended scanning path consists of four swipes. The center of the residual ridge, the palate, the right buccal side of the ridge, and the left buccal side of the residual ridge. The best scanning method is to start from the tuberosity area of one side, scanning along the center of the residual ridge towards the middle line, and then to continue along the center of the ridge towards the tuberosity area of the opposing side. The scanner should be moved smoothly without jumping around. When the tuberosity on the other side is reached, Scanning of the palate should be completed. The palate should be scanned starting from the middle line area, going towards the soft palate, scanning from one side to the other, capturing the area between the center of the ridge on one side, going towards the center of the ridge on the other side. Once that is completed, proceed with the buccal aspect of the residual ridge. It doesn't matter which side you begin with. The scanner should be rotated slightly, in order to face the buccal side or vestibular slope of the ridge. And then scanning should start at the buccal side of the tuberosity area, then moving slowly along the buccal side of the residual ridge towards the middle line. When the middle line is reached, the buccal side of the ridge on the opposite side can be scanned in the same way. The two swipes should overlap slightly. The scanner should be rotated slightly in order to face the buccal side or vestibular slope of the ridge and scanning should start at the buccal side of the tuberosity, moving then along the buccal side of ridge towards the middle line, capturing any missing data. When scanning is complete, you can inspect the result and prepare the scan by trimming any unnecessary parts. If an important area is missing, simply start scanning the area again. Thank you for watching.